Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. Today I would like to explain the first step of LASIK which is a two-step procedure. Uh, the first step is creating a flap in the cornea and the second step is changing the shape of the cornea to include the power for glasses or contact lenses onto the eye. When LASIK first came out, this flap was created in the front of the cornea with a machine called a microkeratome. But with advances in technology, a femtosecond laser was used in order to create this flap. So from the patient's experience, uh, the laser that we use is the Zeiss Visumax laser. Uh, we really like it because it's very comfortable for the patients and it's also a very precise laser. And so first there on the bed for this laser, we do one eye at a time. So we cover over the other eye. We usually work on the right eye first and then we put a safety device in the eyelid so they don't have to worry about blinking. They will look at a ring of lights and this laser comes very close to the eye. Then they can look at a target light and then with a very gentle pressure, the laser comes right onto the surface of the cornea and the treatment lasts for less than 20 seconds with many laser pulses in order to create this flap. Then that gentle pressure is released and we will switch over and do the same procedure for the left eye. Now on the technical side, the way that this laser works, when I first heard about it, I wondered how can a laser go into the eye and create this flap without affecting the layers above it or going deeper into the layers below it. And the way that it actually works is the laser actually focuses at a very precise depth in the cornea. Now this laser is very, very fast. That's why it's called the femtosecond laser. A femtosecond laser is a very short fraction of a second. And just in general, to think about it, a femtosecond relates to a second just about how one second relates to about 32 million years. So if you think about the difference in between one second and 32 million years, that tells you how fast exactly one femtosecond is. And since it's so fast, this makes many, many pulses in the cornea, and each one makes a tiny little bubble in the cornea. So all of these pulses and bubbles connect together in a layer to create the flap, which then can be lifted for the second step of LASIK changing the shape. We'll tell you more about that in the next episode of A State of Sight. But if you have any questions about the first step, please post. We'll be happy to answer them. And I'll see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.